In the past few weeks, I've been having lots of fun using this telescope, my Celestron Edge HD 8 inch telescope for galaxy season. And tonight, if the weather holds, hopefully I can take you along as I photograph M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy. So right now in spring is the perfect time to get out your large focal length telescopes because all the major galaxy targets are out now. So um, M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy, which I'll be shooting tonight, M106, M101, uh, the Needle Galaxy, that's actually the galaxy I'm going to shoot after the M51, the Whirlpool, because that one's really, really cool. I just love how it has that really edge-on sh galaxy shape and it almost looks like a needle. But for tonight, I'm going to be collecting more data on M51. In the last two weeks, I've really been testing this telescope right here with all the new gear I've gotten. I've gotten my, you know, the mount I have, that's been sitting in the garage all winter. The telescope recently got an auto guiding system going. Um, I'm still using the ST4 cable, but that's that's fine because auto guiding seems to be working perfectly. In the past few clear nights I've had this spring, there hasn't been many. Um, I was able to get auto guiding working and astrophotography tool with my DSLR camera. So I'm really getting this set up together and it's really fun to do because I've been able to get long exposures, three minutes without any star trailing, which would be impossible with a telescope like this without auto guiding and just able to get a lot better data with the telescope like this. Jumping from my 75 to 300 millimeter kit lens to this telescope, it's a pretty big jump. So I'm really happy with the increase in quality and detail and clarity of my galaxy shots. Um, so I already have four hours of data on M51 um, galaxy that I process just for fun, but I really want to get a lot more data on it because I really want to pull out more detail and get that signal to noise ratio a little better because right now there's still a little too much noise even with four hours of data. So I want to get uh, a lot more data to kind of smooth the image out a little better, maybe pull out some fainter details around the galaxy. So that's what I'm going to be doing tonight and now let me show you a little more in-depth view of some of my gear and I can talk about it a little bit. So let's start here for the setup. So I put these nice little pads down, they're actually for golfing. I cut one up and they're perfect to put the legs on because they provide like a nice padded rubber material here so the tripod legs don't sink too far into the ground. So that's been helping a lot. So basically this is, I don't have too good cable management. Basically all the cables are wrapped together in this little bin here. So I have cable going to my mount. Just all the cables that I need to power the system are down here. Um, then we move up, we have the Orion Atlas II EKG mount. So basically, it's the kind of almost the same thing as the EQ6R Pro mount, except with Orion branding on it. Basically, Orion version of the EQ6R Pro. Hang controller there, and we have my good old Canon camera, my Rebel T1i. Then we also have guide scope, guide camera. So I'm using for guiding, I'm using an SV Vani 60 millimeter guide scope. From what I've seen, this guide scope works perfectly fine with the long focal length of the Edge HD, even though it is has a rough focal length of around 275 millimeters. It seems to work perfectly fine for my guiding and, and gives me great sharp stars. I went up to even five minute exposure just for fun and actually gave me some sharp stars with that too. So as my guide camera, I'm using the, the ASI 224MC color camera that's like, that was my planetary camera but it works for guiding also so I'm using that with for my guiding as well and just so that there's basically a rough overview of my setup as it is right now 
I still have no dew control, so there's a lot of running inside the house for a, a hair dryer in the middle of the night. So hopefully I can get that fixed soon, as well as I get the cable management a little better because I've been having problems, especially with running these long USB cables to the computer because those those can snag especially the one going to my camera that's not plugged in right now so I'm hoping to be able to get a USB hub soon which will allow me to have all those into one U, one USB hub on the mount tripod like and then run one cable over to the computer It's a lot later in the day now, about 7 o'clock, and it's almost that time to get my setup polar line and star line. So let me go through basically my overall setup routine. The polar alignment, then I'm going to do my star alignment with the hand controller. Um, then after I do the star alignment, I'm going to slew over to my target focus and then slew over to my target. And once I'm at my target, basically, I can start up PHC2 guiding, get that guiding going. And then once guiding going, then I can get my exposure plan laid out for the night so we're ready to do polar alignment now all the dust caps are off and we're ready to do polar alignment oops there we are so there we go that's what I'm going after tonight right there the whirlpool galaxy that's my four hours of data I captured earlier this week So now it's time to start the star alignment process. So I've just polar aligned, and that polar alignment should be set for a very long time because I've had the, the tarp over this now, so I should be able to leave this out. So now let's go do the star alignment. Just the hand controller here. So now, um, star alignment, focusing, I'm on my target, everything's done, so now it's time to go and um, do the software on this computer. So first, I'm going to get the, get, get the auto guide calibrated, and then we can start for CPU exposure. Make sure everything's connected. Yep, the moon is really bright tonight, I wasn't expecting it to be this bright. Hope the exposures are usable. This is just my whole process. Just, I'm new to this. So. There we go. Looks nice and focused there. Once you um, get focus on your guide scope, you really don't need to touch it. So it's nice. But mine is nice and focused. So now we can see what it wants for a start. Right, PhD2 is as simple as that. Yeah, so now this will be a test stop to make sure I'm all framed up and looks good. And once that's done, once, then once PhD2 is done, <coughs> then we can start. Burger. 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 